Hey there, friends. Thanks for checking in. I've been thinking a lot about bug out guns. It used to be a topic that many people spoke about, but now you hardly hear anybody talk about bug out guns. But today in Michigan, it is a cold and blistery winter day. Winds at 60 miles an hour. All the schools are closed. Many people are bugging in. But sometimes you have to bug out and you have to be careful as to which firearms you choose because of weight and the caliber choices. You have to make sure you have enough ammo, of course, and you have to keep the weight as light as it could be as well as the size of the firearms because you're going to have a lot of stuff to carry. You know, your bug out bag, which includes water and ammo and granola bars and whatever else, Ounces add up to pounds. We have to be careful. It's certainly worth considering. The handgun that I'm going to choose. Many choices that take Glock mags, but I'm going with the Glock 19. If I had a Glock 17, I would choose that. But I don't, so I have the Glock 19. And the main reason why is because I have many of these. And considering that capacity matters, you want to be as well armed as possible those mags with the Glock 19 would certainly help, or the Glock 17. Perhaps I should have had that, but I don't. I've got the Glock 19, and I need reliability. No time in a bug out situation to have a firearm malfunction or even cheap ammo. You know, you need to have good ammo. Now, compatibility with the Glock mags and the 9mm round is key. I was going to bring out my Ruger PC Charger. I love that firearm. It's great. But I did a little weight comparison before I made this video and I wanted to make sure. And so in this case, instead of the Ruger PC Charger, I'm going with the XR EP9. And you ask, why would you choose a firearm that is a little bit larger, doesn't have a folder, and it is not as, let's just say, reputable. And this is very reputable, don't get me wrong. But compared to Ruger, it's just not as popular. I put them each on the scale side by side. This is over three pounds lighter. It's got a polymer, a lower receiver. It's polymer all throughout. It is very light, under four pounds. Of course, you add loaded bags, that's going to increase that. But it's under four pounds with the X-Star EP9. And it shoots great. I, I really like this firearm. I think they did a great job with the Gen 2 models. And I've got a, a, a very nice Vortex red dot on there. I feel totally fine with this in a bug out situation. Very lightweight, which is key. Now you have to have, or you should have, some rifle. Okay, in case you do have to hunt or you do have to stretch out a little bit, you want something stronger than a 9mm because both those are 9mm and they both take Glock mags, which is so important in a bug out scenario. But if I had to choose a rifle, AK, AR, a heavier 308 model, all great choices, but I'm going with the 5.56 five, and my choice is the smallest version that I have, and that's a Springfield Hellion. Bullpup. Bullpups are, are pretty cool. A lot of times this, the trigger is very stiff because it has this long bar that reaches the actual trigger. Not in this case. This one is pretty nice. Now, what a bullpup is, they take the, the grip and the trigger component, or, or the trigger itself, move it forward, take the action in the magazine, move it backwards, and creates a very short firearm. Still the 16 inch barrel, but this has performed great since day one. I'm going with this to be as compact, perhaps lightweight, it weighs about the same as a rifle. All the components are in there that are similar to a rifle. It's just a different setup, as I mentioned, but it's very compact and when you're, when you're toting things around, it's important to have magazine compatibility, ammo compatibility with the first two, and lightweight and shorter firearms because you could be on the run and you don't need to be bogged down by weight and 
size. So those are my three firearms I would choose in a bug out situation. I think they're solid choices, but I know a lot of people have other ideas, other things that perhaps I didn't consider. So that's what I want to know. What are your three bug out firearms if you had to bug out, if things got so out of out of hand that you, you said, you know what, I'm out of here. You may have to go get your kids from whatever activities they're at. You may have to go rescue your wife at work. You're bugging out. Things are out of control. Which three firearms are you taking? Do you like mine? Or do you have better ideas? If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate the thumbs up button. Thanks for watching and you guys be safe.